Hey everybody, it's Ryan here from Lexus of Edmonton with another white on black RX 350 to show you. This one's a touring package, so in addition to all the standard features and the features in the premium package, we have the 12 speaker Lexus premium audio, a rear subwoofer, single in dash DVD player, 19 inch alloy wheels, as well as the navigation system with the backup camera and the navigation display. So underneath the hood of this vehicle is a 3.5 liter V6 so with 270 horsepower, 248 pounds of torque. It's maintaining a fuel economy average of 10.2 liters per 100 kilometers, and that's a combined average between city and highway numbers. The unit also runs on regular gasoline, not premium. We have 19 inch alloy wheels with Michelin all season tires, power folding mirrors, power adjustable. They're also uh, heated as well, so you can defrost them in the winter time. They have the integrated turn signal light on them too. So we're going to go inside the interior of the vehicle and take a look at some of the features. So here we are taking a look at the inside now. So first up on the door panel, you see the three driver's seat memory settings. The power windows, power locks, and power mirror control. Down here we have a little flap with room to store uh, paperwork or envelopes or whatever else you want to make fit in there as well as there's space so a water bottle can actually fit in there as well. You have the power seat settings with the back support adjustment, power trunk and gas cap release, hood release down there. This is your tilt and telescopic steering adjustment right here, forward, back, up and down. On the steering wheel itself you have the steering wheel audio controls on the left, you have Bluetooth and voice activation on the right. Cruise controls tucked down here on the lower right. So this vehicle is one of our company demos, so it has about 4,100 kilometers on it right now. And that number will be changing on a day-to-day -day basis. Over here you have the sunken in-dash display screen with the navigation on it. It's also kind of the central hub for all the information related to the vehicle. It's controlled with this down here, the Lexus remote touch system. Your hand goes on it like that, and you move this around up here to control the cursor on the screen. If I hit the menu button, then we can see on here you have you know, your destination and map settings, information, vehicle setup, phone setup and calibration, climate, media, and radio. You have everything that you deal with with the vehicle happens on this screen right here. A little bit lower down on the console, we have the power and volume knob for the radio, shortcut keys to the radio and media screen, the CD player itself, and the tuner and scrolling knob. Down a little lower you have the climate controls with the driver and passenger independent temperature settings as well as this button right here I'll point out is your heated rear window defrost and it's also the heated mirrors. The shift knob is leather wrapped and it has the sport mode with tap shift. You have two cup holders right here with the inside piece that comes out for easy cleaning and that folds right over like that. The armrest is slightly adjustable by about an inch, right there you can see. And hidden down there is where you control the heated and cooling seats for the driver and passenger. If I open this up and we'll look inside, you can see this being put to use right here, this little piece that comes out and slides back and forth to keep little papers in or coins. And then you have a good amount of space going down inside the glove box or the, uh, the armrest itself. And here you have the USB and auxiliary inputs for the stereo, so if you want to plug in your iPod or other portable media device, you do it there. And at the very bottom, you have an auxiliary power outlet. There's also another auxiliary power outlet, outlet located down here in these vehicles as well. Over here you have the lock and glove box. You have your passenger door and window control. You have the rear view mirror, which is auto dimming in this unit. Up top you have the sunroof and dome light controls, as well as a holder for sunglasses. And the sunshade itself, when you open up the mirror, you have the light that comes on. It looks like this one is burnt out on this unit, but to try and just give you a display, you can see that this one is working. Now obviously if you're going to be picking up this vehicle from us, this will be fixed before that, before you take delivery of the unit. So now we're going to head around to the back of the vehicle now. We'll check out the rear cargo space and the, the rear of the vehicle and the rear seats. So over here at the rear of the vehicle, the first thing I'll point out is it does have a rear windshield wiper. And we hide them up inside the spoiler just so that they don't get uh, clogged up with snow or ice in the wintertime. 
left power trunk in this model, controlled from the remote or controlled from the inside, the driver's side. It's the buttons right there. There's a fair amount of room inside the uh, cargo area of the RX, even though it's a smaller size SUV. You'll notice the cargo net, as well as the interior cargo cover right here. And the, the carpet floor mats are being held back here right now. So the back seats are a 40-20-40 split, so you can have them up or down in any combination that you like. And we have these little handles on the sides that are a convenience feature, so when you give one a pull, the corresponding seat will fall forward for you just to save you the time of having to run around the vehicle. When you're done with the cargo area, you can always pull the hatch down manually or just push the button. As for the rear seat themselves, they also recline through this little lever down here. If nobody's sitting in it and you pull this up, then they'll fall forward again like they just were. They also slide forward and backwards to give you that extra little room for the passenger or cargo, whatever you need. They have the center seat armrest that folds down, a little bit of storage space back here, and a couple cup holders over here. On the back of the front seats you have a little bit of space for a magazine or two, and on the door panel it's got the window control and a water bottle holder. So now I have the headlights turned on up at the front now. So we can take a look at the new Lexus LED running lights here, as well as the new Lexus spindle grill. So you can see, it's a little bit bright, but you can see those LEDs that are on in the, in the check mark pattern. So it's a very noticeable look, a very signature look, and, and serves a bit of a safety feature as well of being very visible. And this is the new spindle grill for the 2013 model year. Many of the models are getting designed with this grill and it's kind of got the signature bent in edges. So just to do a quick recap of the, video, of the uh, vehicle for you, so it's a white on black RX 350 touring package. It's one of our company demos so it's got a little over 4,000 kilometers on it. It's a 3.5 liter V6, 270 horsepower, 248 pounds of torque, 10.2 liters per 100 kilometers, average fuel economy rating. And it's got, the touring package has a couple features of it, just notably the 12 speaker premium audio, rear subwoofer, 19 inch wheels, navigation, backup camera, driver's seat memory, power folding mirrors, sunroof, all that fun stuff. So if you have any more questions about the vehicle or you want to see it in person, take it for a test drive, please feel free to give us a call and make an appointment at 466-8300. Or if you just want to drop on by, that's absolutely fine too, at 170th Street and 111th Ave. We're right next to the Tim Hortons, really easy to find. If you're going to continue your online shopping today and you haven't already checked out our website, please go ahead and visit LexusofEdmonton.ca and see what else we have to offer. Thank you very much for watching this video and sticking with it till the end. My name's Ryan Quick, we'll see you next time.